Let's get ready for Monday Mortgage Minute with your hosts, Tom McNamara and Bruce Woodburn. Good morning. Good morning, Bruce. Good morning. All right. We got a big week ahead of us. A lot of things happened last week. We got some more hometown heroes. Money came in. Starts you know, today, interest, right? Starts interest today. Rate settled again. Yep. Interest rates settled again a little bit more. So, I mean, all those fence sitters on the sitting on the fence waiting for things to happen. You know, Tom, you were asking me about that the other day. You said, how many people do you have sitting on the sidelines waiting for hometown heroes to come back into place that are ready to fire? But, you know, it's an interesting, it's interesting to see that, right? So there's not a lot of, there's not a lot of leeway, lead way ahead of time that says, oh, hometown heroes is going to come out with money in a month from now. There wasn't any of that, right? So no, no, that you know, I had heard it maybe three or four days before it got announced. Yep. So now you look at those people. What if you what if you were one of those people that missed out on it when it was here back in the summertime? Right. Well, we Did have, we have your, a bunch of those that we're working with that are trying to fix various things with their credit and things like that. Right. So it's interesting. Did you fix the credit? Did you get yourself in a position to where you truly can buy? Are you ready to jump at, at you know, as soon as that money comes out? Because now it came out again. There was only like thirty eight million dollars. So you and I, we we burned through one hundred million dollars in less than two months, two months. Right. right? So uh, so thirty eight million will probably last three and a half weeks. <laughs> yep, that's about Maybe. all you got. And, yeah. and you have to be in contract. So you get 5% of the loan amount towards your closing costs. You yep. get reduced interest rate. You get reduced closing costs. Yep. So what are you waiting for? You know, it's interesting. I just got back from a core summit meeting for realtors and lenders in Phoenix. And it was interesting that, you know, people that are waiting to buy a home for interest rates to drop we really narrowed down what that actual cost is. And statistically, once interest rates are up like they are right now, and we did see a little bit of a, of a recovery last week, mm -hmm. but when they drop for every 1% that they drop, your house price goes up 5%. Yeah. Historically. So you think about 5% more in house price, versus 1% rate cuz if you got a mortgage right now and and you're in the house and then all of a sudden rates drop you're not stuck with that loan right right now i've refinanced i've probably refinanced different houses <laughs> that i've owned over the years every house at least once except for one house that i didn't own very long Yep. Most um, people, but my point is, is you can refinance, right? Always, you can't always. go and rebuy. You can't redo the, the contract. So nope. once you're in it, housing prices are going to skyrocket when these rates drop. It's just a matter of time. It might be six months. It might be 12, could be 18, might be 24. I don't really care, but I'm in it to win it. And I'm going to tell you, Buying homes in this market is the smartest thing you can do because sellers are negotiating right now. And you think about it, all the chatter is buy downs, buy down, buy down. I don't think a lot of people out there really understand what a buy down is. They think, Tom, that it's the old fashioned pay extra points to get a little lower rate. But that's not at all what a buy down is. Well, let's talk about that. What I, you know, what what is a well, you're talking about a two one or a three two one buy down? I'm right? even doing one one buy down, so you get one percent okay. lower than a prevailing rate for two full years. So that should get you through the higher interest rates and make it more palatable for your payment. So you get a lower interest rate for two years, then it goes back to whatever it was at the time you locked your rate in. So, but here's the thing. It's seller funded. The buyer can't pay for the buy down. They can't pay for it. So, right, right. and you think about that. Let's just say if you just focus on 3%, 3% from a seller on a 1-1 one, one buy down, that would give you enough to get a 1% lower rate for two years. On a 2-1 buy down, it gets you 2% for the first year and 1% lower the second year. Okay. It's funded by the seller. If you, if for some reason 
rates drop before that time period, the money's yours right, from the right, seller. Right. Yeah, we've talked about that before. So is there still a three, two, one buy down? Sure there is. Okay. There's absolutely a three, two, one buy down. I'll tell you what, I avoid that because I don't think a lot of sellers are willing to pay more than 3%. Okay, so it'll take more than 3%. So it takes a little bit more than that. But also, you got to remember, who's looking for the lower payments in, in, a general, in the general area? It's going to be usually your first-time home buyers. They're the right. ones that are struggling the most with the payment. So they're putting down 3% conventional, you know, maybe FHA. So if you're a 3% conventional loan, you can't get the seller to pay more than 3% toward your closing right, cost right. anyway. So because of the ratio. Yep. And 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 here's the thing. If whether you do a 2-1 or a 1-1 one, one buy down, that 3% will cover the whole buy down and give you leftover money to use towards closing costs. Okay. It's the easiest way to get into a house. Now, now we talked about two things today. We talked about hometown heroes, right? Being program, it's back. Hopefully we can help some people get into homes, right? Um, and we talked about buy downs, but we can't combine those, right? No, you can't do a buy down on hometown heroes. So, and you can't do buy downs on on most down payment assistance programs. They, right. they set the rules pretty strictly, but you can get seller concessions. <laughs> okay. So you, you can still get seller paid closing costs. So- Let's negotiate. Sellers want to make a deal right now. You know, they're not desperate, but they're willing to make a deal. So, so I can do so I can do hometown heroes where I'm getting up to 5% of my loan amount towards down payment, down payment and, closing, and costs. closing costs. But yeah. I can also get the seller to pay 3% or whatever. Is sure. Qualified. And let's just so, say that they do. Yeah. Then you can use all the hometown heroes money to reduce your loan amount. To reduce your loan amount. Right. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And, you know, we talk a lot about hometown heroes, but there's other down payment assistance programs still out there. And I know there are, oh, man, they're I've popular. got down payment assistance from Jacksonville all the way down to the keys. So there's programs all over the place. Now, some of them may be out of funds, but other ones have it, but right. there's so always an option. Do we think, do we think they're going to get additional funds now? Or do you think the state is going to focus on, you know, nobody, heroes? nobody, they don't tell you that till they're like, there's no secret bat line you can call until it's just about ready to come out. Now we knew it was coming out, but there was no rock solid confirmation for about five days before it, it's actually released. Yeah, no, I heard, I heard rumor, 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 but nobody would confirm it. Right. Um, and then uh, it popped out right on, I think it was on Friday that I saw it or maybe third, maybe Thursday that I saw. It I think the out. tactic right here is for everybody listening, other realtors, buyers, sellers, you must get yourself in position in advance because Absolutely. the last thing you want to do is now all of a sudden it's there because they don't last. It's there and then it's gone. Right. No, Bruce, listen, on Friday, when I heard when I heard it was coming back on Friday, I reached out because, you know, I've got a good database of people that are looking that are down payment assistance qualified. And we were trying to work with them on Hometown Heroes before the money ran out. And I, I called every single one of them and all the ones that I got a hold of. Some of them were ready and we're going to be looking. We're going to be working. And some of them are oh, I'm still not ready. I didn't fix my stuff. I, I thought it was out of money. You know, it's like, hey, man, fix it anyway. Right. Well. You don't know when that opportunity comes. And I'm going to tell you, if you're renting right now or you know anybody that's renting, you are paying 100% interest rate, 100%. 100%. So don't tell me about your 24% credit card or your 4.5% car loan. It doesn't matter. You're willing to pay 100%. It makes yeah. no sense whatsoever. I think the only other thing sillier than renting forever, I mean, you got to rent sometimes, right? But it's okay. But if you're renting forever, the only other sillier thing is is renting self-storage. Because <laughs> you're paying $200 house. a month to, to store $50 worth of junk. <laughs> and listen, I help people all the time understand their finances. You think that that people out there really understand how to invest money and 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 uh, and obtain money for their retirement. Most people don't. I mean, I even have I even have clients that are doctors. You know what? They're brilliant people, a lot smarter than I am, but they don't know how to manage money. And I'm there to help people manage money. Buy three times your annual income 
for your house price, always max out your 401k, and you are going to be great. Buy stocks in things that are essential items, or if you don't know how to pick stocks, with nine, where 99% of you out there listening don't know how to pick a stock. You pick something your friend told you about, or you think it's a hot item, and yep. you don't know how to pick a stock. Just invest in the S and P 500. Just if you don't know how to, you will be absolutely fine. You'll get right? you'll get ten percent all the time. Maybe not every year consistently, but over time, it's always works out to ten percent annualized returns. And yep. you know, you put a couple hundred bucks away every month in that index fund, and you will be a millionaire when you retire. Yep. So you start early enough. Own, own a home, at least one. Mm -hmm. Max out your 401k, yep. right? Put money in the S&P 500 yep. and you will be absolutely fine. You and also keep your debt to try an absolute minimum, man. Keep your keep your uh, consumer debt to almost zero or zero if you can. No, keep your debt to as close to zero. You're 100% right. Yep. And and, I'm, and and here's the thing. You have to be you have to be conscientious of what your credit looks like. What you, what people don't realize that don't have great credit is that they're costing them more money than maybe not getting a mortgage. Your homeowner's insurance is more, or your auto insurance is more. Everything you buy, you're paying a premium of because they look at it and go, you're not entirely responsible about your credit. So yep. we're going to charge you more because you're a higher risk. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you got it, man. Hey, listen, uh, there's a bunch of ruckus going on in my house. I got to go figure out what's going go on. Go feed the dog, man. Take him for a walk. Have it's a great been a week. great morning. Good morning talking to you, man. I'll have, have a great day. Have a great week. Fix your credit. Call me now if you want Hometown Heroes. So Numbers you don't miss right out. There. Peace out, brother. Have a good yeah, week. Man.